Hello, Debbie. This is Dean. Listen, I got a deal for you. I'll give you my answers to the history homework for your answers to the math homework. Okay, get on it and call me right back. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Charlene? Yeah, this is D. Listen, I got a deal for you. I'll give you my answers to the math homework for your answers to the history homework. Okay, get on it and call me right back. Okay, bye. Hello, baby. Hi, Mama. What are you doing home so early? Oh, I went to the doctor's and it's my hypertension again. Is there anything I can get you? Oh, no, darling. I'll be all right. All I need is a little peace and quiet. Does that mean you're not going to work? Well, not for a couple of weeks at least. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad Roger has that job at the supermarket. Me too. The last time this happened, we were really up the creek. I didn't know where my next quarter was coming from. <laughs> Say, why aren't you doing your homework? I've been doing my homework all afternoon. <laughs> well, that's a good girl. Well, I'm going upstairs now, and I don't want to be disturbed, so I'm going to take the receiver off the hook. Sorry about that, Raj. Uh, it's not your fault, Bobby. It's old man Pronson's fault. Why are you blaming the boss? What did he do? What did he do? Nothing. That's what he did. Our union contract calls for an employee's lounge, right? Good. Rerun. Uh, Does this look like an employee's lounge? Not to me. What better could you get? Well, you're our shop steward. Why don't you complain? Uh, because he gets mad at me. You know Pronson will never get you guys your own lounge. What do you mean, you guys? You work here, too. Don't you? Rerun, did you get fired? It wasn't my fault, Raj. All I did was go out into the parking lot and gather up all the shopping carts. That's what you're supposed to do. I know, and I was doing real good. I had 89 of them. 89? <laughs> I was going for the record, and I had them all under control, too. At least until I got inside. <laughs> How much damage did you do? Remember aisle 13? Oh. <laughs> it was awful, Raj, but it wasn't my fault. I swerved to keep him hitting this lady and knocked this guy right into the frozen food bin. <laughs> Didn't you explain that to old man Ponson? He was the guy. <laughs> But it was an accident, so you deserve a second chance. No, no, no. You may as well forget about that, Raj. Around here, you don't get no second chance, right? With old man Pronson, it's one mistake and you out. But it's not fair. I mean, if you had been in the union, he couldn't have fired you. And I was going to join the union next week. How was I to know I'd get fired the very first day? Hey, Irene, huh? Hey. Sorry you got fired the very first day. Thanks, Irene. Believe me, I want to go there and stand up for you. Well, why didn't you? I didn't want to press my luck. I've been fired three times. Then why do you hire you back? I'm his mother. What is going on in here? What is going on in here? <laughs> you, you, you still here? You are fired. Mom. Why don't you by the register? Move it, move it! <laughs> uh, didn't I tell you to stack those boxes over there? I'm on my break. You take your break when you go home. <laughs> Wait a minute, the union says... I don't want to hear nothing anyway. about no union. Uh, we can't let Bronson walk all over us like this. We have a union and we got rights. Yeah, right. Right. Hold right. it down, right. Raj. Hold it down. The boss might hear you. Let him hear me. What kind of a shop steward are you? You're just a nervous weakling. Hey, I I'm not nervous. I got a family. 
I got a kid and three wives. I, I, I got a wife and a kid. And then all I know is I have a union, and it's about time it stood up to this guy. Right on. Yeah. What do you got to do with it? You don't work here anymore. Well, good luck anyway. I'll be seeing you, we'll see you later, Roger. Roger. Take it easy. I agree with Raj. You ought to stand up to that punk. <laughs> was nine. <laughs> I don't think this is the right time to talk to him. No, this is the right time, but are you the right man? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Well, here goes nothing. You said it. <laughs> hey, watch it, Jumbo. <laughs> These are not yours until they hit the table, you know? <laughs> Always grabbing at something. What are you gonna have, Gwen? A grape soda. Grape soda. Is that all? What's the matter with you? I got woman problems. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman, aren't I? Well... You taking your life in your hands. <laughs> What do you mean you got woman problems? I thought you were going steady with Cynthia Gardner. I'm also going steady with Louise Lucas. <laughs> you strange, you know that? <laughs> what, how'd you end up with two girls anyway? Well, Cynthia's nice and pretty. And you're making out with Louise. <laughs> Shh, Shirley. Shirley too? <laughs> We took a list of grievances and we gave them to old man Prunce. All right, you going on strike, Rod? Probably. We're going to vote on it tomorrow. Right on. Oh, oh no, it's Louise. Is she the nice one or the fun one? She's the fun one. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, sure. What? Aren't you going to introduce her to the guys, Dwayne? Oh, yeah, Louise, these are the guys. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Well, my folks are away, and I would like to know if you'd like to come to my place and do some homework. Well, I don't have any homework. Neither do I. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> now, what was that all about? Oh, forget about that. Uh, what happened with the strike? You could lose a lot of money. Money? Money? This is a matter of principle. All the money in the world can't buy you one principle. Yeah, I know. I tried last semester, and it suspended me. <laughs> Bad, really bad. Rerun, this is no time for jokes. This is time for action, and that's what unions are for. I mean, we might lose a little money, but in the long run, everybody will benefit. And that is what the labor movement in this country is based upon. Look for the union <laughs> when you are buying a coat, dress, or blouse. You know? <laughs> Someone, Someone is so weak. Our wages go win to run the gym, to work hard, but who's complaining? Thanks to the ILG, we're paying our way. So always look for the union label. It says we're able to make it in the U.S. Please. <laughs> Can't you see I'm doing my homework? I'm sorry. Roger, is that you? Oh, Mama, wait till I tell you what happened at work today. Well, what happened at work today? Oh, Mama, were you asleep? Yes, I was. I'm not feeling very well. What's wrong? It's Mama's what? hypertension again. I would have told you if you hadn't come in the house like Sammy Davis Jr. looking for your <laughs> union lady. <laughs> Are you going to be all right? Sure, what? she'll be all right. She just can't go to work for two weeks. <laughs> can't work? But well, everything's going to be all right. I got my big man out there working. I'm going to be just fine. Now, what were you going to tell me about your job? Job, job. <laughs> yeah, job, job. Uh, oh, no, it's great, Mama. It couldn't be better. 
Is that why you're so happy? Oh, yeah. Great working conditions. Uh -huh. uh, great money. Very secure. Very secure. Makes me just feel like singing. <laughs> Going to the poor house. <laughs> Uh, should we vote now or wait for Roger? No, wait a minute. Hell, we don't want to wait, man. We want to vote now so we can get out of here, all right? right? Okay, everybody in favor going on strike, say aye. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, did you vote yet? Uh, no, Roger, we wouldn't vote without you. All right. Because we know how much you want this strike. All wrong. <laughs> so what? I mean, I, I, no, I want the strike, but uh, I think that we should give Pronson a fair chance to respond to our complaints. He told us to shove it up our nose. Oh. Well, did you try? <laughs> Roger, look, would you stop clowning around, all right? All right, look, let, let's vote now. Everybody in favor of going on strike, raise your hand. Oh, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, uh, I mean, y yesterday when I said that we should all go on strike, I have to admit I was only thinking of myself. I mean, it's easy for me to strike because I got money. I mean, my mama's working, my sister's independently wealthy. And, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I'm in favor of the strike, but it's not fair to you. So, I am going to vote against the strike for your sake. Now, there's no further discussion. We will adjourn the meeting and go back to work. Let's go. Come on, let's go back to work. <laughs> All right, everybody in favor of the strike, raise your hand. <laughs> uh, Raj, shall we make it unanimous? is that? It's a pancake. What does it look like? A french fried frisbee. <laughs> Do you want it or not? Oh, I'll try it. I think I'll pick up a donut on the way to school. Ouch! Watch the pan, it's hot. <laughs> Thank you. Today's payday, isn't it? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Today is payday. They must keep you pretty busy down at that market. Uh, yeah, they sure do. Have to uh, restock the shelves and spray the fresh produce. So. Collect shopping carts, you Doesn't know. Doesn't your picket it. sign get in the way? <laughs> what picket sign? The one I saw you carrying yesterday, walking back and forth in front of Pronson's. Did, uh, does Mama know anything about this? Of course not, because it would really upset her. That's right, and that's the last thing Mama needs is aggravation. Then how are you going to tell her there's not going to be any paycheck today? Flowers, candies, and two choruses of look for the union labor? <laughs> If Cynthia was a little easier and the weeds was a little nicer, my life would be a whole lot better. Do me a favor, Dwayne. Shut up about your girl problems. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Roger, what's happening? Hmm, you want me to tell you what's happening? My feet are killing me. I've been picketing in front of Pronces all day long. Are you making any headway at all? Well, he started talking to us. Well, what did he say? I ain't got nothing to say to you. <laughs> At least that's a start. Well, I'm about to give this up. I gotta find another job. Frankie Cordova's always looking for young guys to help him in his business. Oh, yeah? What's the job? Uh, it's easy. All you do is make collections from vending machines. Oh. You'd be great at it. You run fast. Wait, wait, why do I have to run? 
They're not Frankie's machine. <laughs> I don't think so. Hi, Rog. What are you gonna have? Uh, nothing. I'm broke. Yeah, well. Hey, Shelby. Hmm? Does uh, Rob need anybody in the kitchen to wash dishes? No, we don't wash these dishes. <laughs> Well, don't choke, clown. Hey, we got a machine for those. Look, I'm sorry. Why can't your father help out? He's out of town. I can't reach him. Why don't you just cross the picket line and go back to work? I can't do that, Dwayne. I have a responsibility to my fellow workers. What about your responsibility to your family? I know. That's my problem. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to cross that picket line because your family comes first. Wrong. His family comes second. The ambulance will come first. <laughs> Hello, Charlene. This is D. Did you do the math homework? Yeah, me too. You want to compare answers? Okay, hold on. I'll get mine. What'd you get for number one? 18? Yeah, me too. What about number two? 27? That's what I got. And number three? Of course I did it. I got six. Oh, you got 84? <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> Someone's at the door, Charlene. I'll give you the rest of my answers later. Hi, D. Hey, hi, hi. Hi, 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 yourself. <laughs> Roger's an in. Oh, I just thought he might be home for work by now. You can drop the act. I know he's on strike. What's this I hear about a strike? Ask Dwayne. Huh? <laughs> Who's striking, Dwayne? Oh, uh, you are, Mrs. Thomas. My goodness, you look wonderful. <laughs> Dwayne, is Roger on strike? Uh-uh. Are you telling me the truth? Uh-uh. <laughs> Dee, what's going on around here? Raj hasn't been to work for two weeks. He's been on a strike. But it's okay, Mrs. Thomas. Raj went back to work today. Yeah, he broke the strike. What? He shouldn't break the strike. He could get hurt. Don't worry about him, Mrs. Thomas. He can talk his way out of anything. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm home. Roger. Honey, what in the world happened to you? Uh, just a little accident. I slipped. Where? Down the elevator shaft? <laughs> Honey, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, but I think we're going to have to bury the shirt. <laughs> Roger, I know you went down to break the strike. So tell me, what happened? He was doing it for you, Mrs. Thomas. Thomas. He was only thinking of you at the time. I'm asking Roger. Roger, answer your mother. <laughs> Well, I was all set to break the strike. Mm -hmm. But then I remembered how unfair Pronson was by not living up to his end of the contract. So by the time I got down there, I was really angry. And then I saw him outside yelling and screaming at my friends and pushing them around. That's when I lost my head. So I grabbed him and I said, who do you think you are? We have rights too. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, Dwayne. All right, the next thing I knew, some big crumb came by and hit me in the back of my head with a picket sign. Then the next thing I knew, there were reporters and police. There was a madhouse around there. Who beat you up, Raj? Was it the big guy who manages the meat department? No, no, bigger and meaner. Otherwise, I couldn't handle it myself. Hi, Raj. Sorry I had to beat you up. <laughs> it's OK, Irene. I may be on strike, but nobody tells my son off. Nobody, except me. I don't believe we've met. Oh, Mama, this is uh, Mr. Pronson's mother. Please How meet you? you. Raj, I just came to tell you that the strike is over. Over? How? What happened? My son said he couldn't stand the bad publicity. He said he would meet our demands if he could lay off some of the dead weight. Oh, let me guess. He fired me. No, he fired me. <laughs> he said I was too violent. You mean he fired you, his own mother? I raised him tough. <laughs> well, I've got to go. 
I just want to let you know you can go back to work. Oh, thanks, Irene. Bye, Irene. Bye. Bye. Big and tough, huh? <laughs> you know, Rerun, none of this would have happened if I hadn't stood up for you at work. Come on, Dwayne. I think Raj wants to be alone. Yeah, later, Raj. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry I lied about the strike, and I just didn't want you to worry. You know, I'm so proud of you for not breaking that strike. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. I think you better go upstairs and change. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Charlene. Trouble. You what? <laughs> Hold on, Charlene. D. She wants you to give her the rest of your math answers. I'll handle it, Mom. I think you better. <laughs> Charlene, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times. My mother does not allow me to give homework answers over the phone, and I will not do it. <laughs> Since you're such a dear and close friend, I'll tell you whether I agree or not with the answer. Start with number four. Here's a great job, Raj. Make up to $2,000 a week, part-time. Oh, well, let me see. Oh, Rerun, I don't know anything about putting out oil well fires. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Romeo? Not so good. Cynthia and I broke up last night. Oh, man, I bet it was hard for you to tell her. Well, actually, she told me. What happened? Well, I was sitting with Cynthia, and it was dark, and the stars were out, and I started to act really crazy, and I tried to Louise her. <laughs> what did she say? She said, I'm not that kind of girl, but luckily I know someone who is. So now we don't have to listen to any more of your girl problems, right? Right. From now on, I'm just going steady with Louise. Oh, hi, Louise. Hi, Dwayne. How's your aunt? Huh? Your sick aunt. Remember you broke our date last night so you could be with her. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, 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 Aunt Beth. <laughs> it was touch and go there for a while. Yeah, I bet it was, because I passed by Cynthia's house last night and saw you touching and going on the porch. Oh, wasn't that touching? Yeah, it was, but now I'm going. <laughs> Dwayne, there's a great lesson in what just happened to you. What? Tell him, Raj. Hey, Louise, wait up! <laughs>